All right, everybody, this is Tom from Honey Pimp Apiaries. Today we're gonna go through and do a mic test for you. I've already gone through and done a hive inspection on this. I know the queen is up in the super here because we didn't have an excluder on and I did put eyes on her. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is get right to the program here. So our stuff that we have here are these mic easy check kits. We have a measuring, measuring cup. Of course, couldn't find the right measuring cup, so a little smaller one but we'll just do two scoops on there so this frame right here we're picking this frame for a reason and this one you can see it's open it's got some eggs and larvae in it so we know that these are nurse bees so we want to take a sample from nurse bees so what we're going to do is we're going to take this this box here right here we're going to dump out any debris that's in there i'm going to set this right here and we're going to take this frame and we're just going to go just like that, to shake off the bees. We're gonna give them a second, and we're gonna let the uh, foragers fly off. Here in our Might Away Easy Check Kit, there's two two marks. One's for 100 bees, one's for 300 bees. I haven't counted them, so we're gonna go ahead and just knock this down, like so. And we're just gonna pour them in. Right there, they're to the mark. So we're gonna go ahead and come in here. And we're gonna close this up for a second. So you might ask why I have two sets of these uh, kits here. And the reason why is I can have one dry and one have the fluid so that I can reuse some of this washer fluid and I'm not being wasteful and I'm not dumping it here out on this property stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and, and fill this with some washer fluid. We're going to just knock the bees down. And unfortunately, this does kill the bees. But it does kill them pretty quick. If that's any condolence. We just pour that away from the hive. seal here and we can shake so we're going to shake for 60 seconds Okay, so now we're done. We'll give it a little swirl here. Just make sure we dislodge any mites. We're gonna go ahead and take the cap off. We're gonna set the basket off to the side. And we look inside of here. Hopefully this shows up. Double check here. So there are mites on the bottom. See them? Let's see how many. I see one, two, three, four, five. There's two floating actually. So there's five mites on here per 300 bees. So right there, that's as easy as it is. So now I know that if I choose to treat, my usual threshold for treating is three in a sample. Um, so if I choose to treat, I can treat and then test again after the treatment to see my effectiveness. Or if I choose not to treat, it allows me to keep notes and know that 
whether or not this hive is able to make it through the winter with a high threshold of mites or if it crashes out from that high threshold of mites. The more information we know, the better. Whether we're treatment free or whether we're treatment people, it doesn't matter. We can still test, and I know it's hard to see the 300 bees killed to do that test, but um, I kind of explain it this way that it's probably better that we kill 300 bees to keep about 60,000 bees alive for the winter and hopefully for next year than to not test and kill 300 bees and wind up uh, losing this whole hive due to mites. So again, there's, there's about five in here and I'll, I'll take a good picture and put it on the video. I'll try and get this dead bee out of here too. Um, and actually now that I look closer, there's a couple more. And again, this is another reason why I like to have more than one test kit is so that I can actually let this set with the bees in it. I follow a standard protocol. So if I let it set for 10 minutes while I'm working on the next one and get the next one ready and do my shake and then come back and take this over by the truck and look at it with a light or with the sun or uh, do whatever I need to do to be able to see the mite numbers in here. I just want to make sure I'm following about the same protocol so that I have about the same mark inside of here for bees. I know that where I had it filled up is about 300 bees or half coat. I know that I fill it up to about where I fill it up to, which is the top of these, these markers inside of the hive. Um, and I know that's enough to get all the bees that are in there. And I shake for about 60 seconds. I think in this video, I'll have to go back and watch it, but it might've been 70 seconds. I was doing 10 seconds per shake and turning the, the can just to kind of keep it straight in my head. If I wasn't shooting video, I actually do usually set a timer or uh, I find a song that, that uh, has uh, about 60 seconds. I think you can do your ABCs two or three times and that's about the right amount of time uh, to be able to do it. Whatever you do, just follow the same process for all your hives so that you know that you have a good sampling uh, success on here. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully this showed you that it's not super scary and it's not really hard to do. And um, just to recap, I went through and inspected my hive first. I knew exactly where my, hive, where my queen was. She's up in here and I put eyes on her and set her off to the side here where she can't climb back down in here. I took a frame of larva and the reason why I picked larva is because there's nurse bees on larva taking care of them and nurse bees are typically going to be the ones with the highest infestation. Ideally we'd like to do this you know in the middle of the day. Right now I don't know if you can tell but the sun is we're probably about an hour, hour and a half. I don't know if you know that trick, but you can stick your hand out on arm's length, put it on the horizon. Each finger is about 15 minutes for how long until the sun sets. So right now I know that 10, nine fingers, eight or nine fingers in there times 15 minutes each. That tells me how long until sunset. Uh, that's facing west right there. It was a beautiful CRP field. But uh, normally we do this in the middle of the day where the foragers are gonna be out, so we wouldn't get a lot of them. The other thing, it may have looked that I was clumsy, which I am, but I kind of let this sit with bees in it. Uh, usually if there's foragers, they'll fly away. And you can tell in here there's a bunch that haven't flown away. So we'll just, just like that, and I'll go right back into that hive, and there's nothing wrong with that. So all this stuff came from the dollar store here. This Normally I use a Rubbermaid wash tote, but I broke it. And actually you can see I just broke this, and it's brand new. So you just can't find good stuff. That soft white Rubbermaid usually takes a lot of beating before it breaks. This stuff is pretty fragile, but it's all I could find. I had a lasagna pan just in case I, I couldn't make this work if I did start breaking them all. I do have about 28 here to test. Um, I do have a measuring cup here. Somebody swiped my half cup at home. Uh, I like to use stainless steel for everything, but um, this is a quarter cup, so I could take two cups out of here. Uh, this is just standard windshield washer fluid on here this is right here negative 20 fahrenheit so this is the winter stuff so it has high alcohol in this so you know that it's, it, that will kill the bees quickly um, and you can actually see that in the uh, label right here too so it's important to make sure you get the winter stuff you can use regular rubbing alcohol or zosperol or whatever you want to use denatured it's just expensive and when i have a lot of these to do i want to do it as economically as possible so um, this was two bucks, two and a half bucks versus the, right now with COVID going on, it's pretty hard to find alcohol even, let alone 
uh, pay two dollars for a small 12 ounce bottle of it so a uh, windshield washer fluid works good i have two of these these are about 20 bucks you can buy them in a the catalog um, i buy them from my friend at hillco bees up in um, el paso illinois uh, he's been great to me about it uh, so i have two so that I can, I can do more than one at a time. Actually, when I get going at this and I have a, a, a bunch of people out there helping me, I might have half a dozen of them, just so we can go through them quick. But I do like to have one dry that I put my bees in, and then I put the, I dump the alcohol into there after I've cleaned out the mites from the last one. So any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Appreciate your time. Apologize if this was a little rambly. We're getting started with this. As we go through it and get comments, we might redo some of these. But hopefully this is helpful, and hopefully you saw how quick this is to do. Um, even finding the queen, this probably would have taken me 20 minutes to do. So no real excuse. Um, if you're treatment free, please still do the test. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to know your mite counts. There's a great program going right now I'll link to on the bottom of this in uh, 2020. You can participate in it as well. Uh, definitely put that in there just so we can get a better idea of what's going on inside of the hive. Um, I do know for a fact that some of my, my queen colonies that I breed from, I've had uh, one colony down in Atlanta, Illinois at my friend's farm, Prairie Farm, great people. Um, I had like 30 mites in a count. So a sample of 300, I had 30 mites in there, which is crazy. I apologize, I'm sweating, it's pretty hot. Um, and it makes it through the winter almost every year with that high of a mite count. But if I didn't do that test, I wouldn't know that I could say that those bees are mite tolerant. So is it that they're mite tolerant? Is it just that they're clean from nosemia? Does it just mean that they're healthy and eating really good, that they can overcome all those mites eating their fat body? I don't have all those answers, but uh, hopefully as things develop, we'll be able to make better decisions on that. But we can't make these decisions without data. And this is one way that we can get data is to know how many mites we have. Thanks, have a good day. Feel free to call me if you have any questions. Honey Pimp Apiaries.